bombs here. Woo, 32 degrees at 6.30 uh, here in uh, the end of May almost now. Um, somebody had a question for me and I just thought I'd make a quick video about it because I actually had one of these palms that is doing this. So I don't have a bunch, but this is a Trekkie Carpus for Chunai windmill palm. This is the palm, these two, there's two palms in here. This is their mother right here. Uh, that's the mother palm and it's, uh, it's uh, making some seeds right now. It's about to start. It's any day now those are going to open up and then I can pollinate them. I'm going to hand pollinate and I'll make some more uh, brothers from this palm. But uh, yeah, so this is uh, here in Southern Ontario, Canada. And that's the father of these, uh, of these guys right here. That's where I got the pollen from. But uh, nevertheless, he asked me, he's growing some of them. Uh, he might be growing them from these, I think, uh, from the same seeds. Um, and all, I've, I've grown lots of, I've grown hundreds of these uh, trackies. And uh, if you look here, they have these little black spots. A lot of times they have this. Anytime they're in, seem to be almost all of them especially when they're in pots like this and especially when they're small is it too much sun is it too much water i honestly don't know they usually get this and they get black tips is it i'm not sure they love water i know that um to me they could probably use a little more fertilizer these could definitely be in a deeper pot more fertilizer um maybe more maybe half i would recommend for these palms half day sun and uh yeah you could definitely get less you could get more water the newer fronds though right now in the spring here like these ones are kind of old if they're from the winter and fall or whatever the new ones that come out usually won't have that you can start to see like this is one of the this is the newest little frond here so this might be from this year so if you look it doesn't have too much of it on it this is just where my hand is that part doesn't have too much and then neither will this one here this new one but the older ones always tend to do that um, as they pop out they it, it doesn't tend to happen as much but what i would recommend the best absolute way to grow these um and it's not the best advice. So you want to grow them in a container. They're, you know, you could try doing a deeper container, try doing more fertilizer, and try a half-day sun. That's what I would recommend, and tons of water. Lots and lots and lots of water. You can't give them too much water, almost. That's what I would highly recommend for a container. But this is, you know, an okay size little palm. But if I look at ones that are the same age that just fell and planted themselves. This probably, I took these out in Germany of them and I probably started these a lot sooner. So these ones just sat here dormant. These palms here are, you know, quadruple the size. They have little trunks on them. It's hard for you to tell. They don't have any of that. They have, their fronds are double, triple the size. Look at this. Look at the frond size. Look at even these ones over here. These are even smaller. These are ones that aren't even doing as good. These are in about, you know, well, they're just in the garden. I don't know. They get they get a lot of sun, but look at the color. Look at the color. This is a smaller one, but this still this palm is way bigger. Um, if you put it this in the ground, they'd be tiny. But this is you know you got ones here that this trunk here is you know significantly significantly bigger. And there's lots that are like this in here. There's hundreds here, and they just planted themselves lots here with big nice little trunks on them and i hit some of these with the mower uh some of them will still get that little bit of that tip but uh only on the older leaves but for the most part you look at that look at the color look at that less healthiness look at the height here like i put this down here beside this just plant them in the ground that's just honestly just right away from the time they're germinated or just plant the seeds in the ground um that's one palm way 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 bigger way happier way healthier Look at it growing its fronds. You'll be much happier. The speed will, like here is even a seedling, and still it seed, still still looks much better. That would have planted itself much later. So these are all roughly same from the same batch of seed. So the genes, everything don't doesn't make a difference. So the, my best advice to you, if you really don't want to have these with these spots, and you want the fastest growth. Uh, plant it in the ground now one good thing is people will be like well I didn't want to plant it in the ground here because maybe I don't want to have it right here and I, I want to dig it up and I'm I'm in an apartment or I'm at somebody's house and I'm renting and I don't know how long I'm gonna be there you know what still plant it plant it in the ground like these would honestly thrive if I just stuck these right beside them these would just thrive they would look nicer and greener and they would do amazing by the end of the year what I recommend though is just plant them in the ground they're gonna do better 
And these, the great part about these is they transplant very easily. You basically only have to dig up. These are not hard to transplant. You can't, you basically can't mess it up. You basically can dig up just the palm itself, hardly leave any roots. And I've seen it from ones that I've planted out front and I gave them to Sandor Palms here. He's done great with them. And they, yeah, I, they transplant amazingly. So just dig them up when you want to, put it into a pot, take it to your new home and then plant it. So anyways, guys, that's, uh, that's my advice. That's a tip for today. Um, so if these have, your palm has these little spots and you want to get rid of it, if I stick this in the ground, and I believe so, um, the person who was asking the question said, well, maybe they're just getting too much sun. I could take them over here and I believe I could plant that right in the center of the ground with the absolute 100% full sun. And I think it would still do amazing. I think all these older leaves would wither away and you wouldn't see those anymore. And the new ones that came out would look amazingly dark green and perfectly, they would just look awesome. So, all right. So that was just a quick tip here on growing Trachycarpus fortunae. Um, if you're growing them like this, lots of them, this is super common. Almost all of them that I see when you're growing them in little containers like this, they usually do have these little spots on them and little black, uh, you know, little black tips and things like that. But it's nothing to worry about. They're just, they still grow great. They're still growing. They're just, they just tend to do that. I'm not exactly sure what causes it, but thanks for watching guys. Like and subscribe. More palm tree videos here from Southern Ontario, Canada. Later.